This is the voice of the agency. I'm your handler for this mission. I'll monitor your progress and keep you on track. I'm an old hand at this, so listen up and listen good. I might just save your sorry ass. Before I let you loose on Pacific City, we need to run through a few diagnostic programs. Stand by. I'm initiating an uplink to bring your systems online one at a time. Health, online. Shields, online. Tracker, online. Targeting, online. There's a calibration glitch in the targeting systems. I need you to direct your reticule to each of the red lights. Okay, you've got it. Let's move on. Agent, I want you to jump off the ledge in front of you. Think of this as an exercise in trust. Don't panic. Report it to a peacekeeper and let them take care. <laughs> nice landing. Sure, you took a hit, but that drop would have killed a normal man. The good news is your regenerative systems are working fine, and you'll be back to full health in no time. Time to assess your athletic capabilities. Collect that orb at the top of the steps. That shouldn't prove too great a challenge to someone of your caliber. Good. These orbs boost your agility skill. Collect more to leap higher and farther. Now, to complete this program, you must leave the room. Climb up to the marker. Standing on that marker triggered the exit to open. Now, all you need to do is make it through the door before it shuts. That was... tolerable. Let's just chalk that one up to first night nerves, shall we? Follow the path to the firing range and take the weapon provided. Handling weaponry should be second nature to you. The ordnance you now hold is a standard issue agency assault rifle. Use it to kill the freak without assisted targeting. Don't worry, this freak won't fight back. Use precision targeting to shoot the freak's head or legs. Nice shooting. Now, pick up the agency shotgun. I'm releasing more freaks to help assess your survival instincts. Engage them with zero tolerance. Now, follow the trail to the next zone. The next program tests your close quarters combat skills. Use a basic attack to engage the sparring partner provided. Good. Try repeatedly attacking to chain moves. As you get stronger, you can wield objects as weapons. You won't always be engaged in one-on-one -on -one combat. So let's see how you cope with a few more targets. Explosives. Get those grenades. Explosives are a convenient means of dispatching multiple targets. Use your grenades to blow these freaks to pieces. Great. Let's move on. Agent, follow the trail and get in the vehicle provided. Impressive. You're the first new-gen clone to make it through these diagnostic programs. Usually, you'd face further tests to confirm your fitness for duty. But these are exceptional times. Prepare for deployment to Pacific City. Looks like they've organized a welcoming committee. 
I'm sure you can carve your way through that roadblock, but right now you're needed elsewhere. Sit tight. I'm scrambling air support. Get used to getting shot at. This is all the welcome we get from Cell, the most dangerous gang Pacific City has ever seen. Cell are fanatical, ruthless, and organized, making them a force to be reckoned with. Cell have established strongholds at key locations across the city. They've fortified their positions with whatever they can lay their hands on even hijacking and adapting agency tech. It may look like shit, but it's effective. Cell isn't our biggest problem. Look at this place. When the freak virus bit into Pacific City, it spread like wildfire. Infecting civilians and mutating them into the brutal night-dwelling creatures below. The mix of cell and freaks has brought this city to its knees. But the agency has a rescue plan. The Sunburst Defense System. It was developed to wipe out every last freak in the city and stop the spread of the virus. Cell have hampered Sunburst construction at every turn. They've sabotaged its power sources, absorption units like the one on the rooftop to your right. Without power, we can't detonate the beacons. Beacons are all we have to stop the freaks. They're the result of years of research and development. And right now, the last working beacon prototype...